I want to play for you and for our viewers what the president said in response to a question just moments ago about impeachment. Listen to this. You can't impeach somebody when there's never been anything done wrong. We, we have a no collusion. We have no anything. There's no obstruction. There's no collusion. There's no anything. Uh, when you look at past impeachments, whether it was President Clinton or I guess President Nixon never got there. He left. I don't leave. There's a big difference. I don't leave. Uh, we did nothing wrong except create the greatest economy in the history of our country. We did nothing wrong except rebuild our military like nobody's ever seen before. Uh, we're doing a great job. Our country has never been stronger. I know that was in response to your question, uh, Pamela, just mm -hmm. moments ago. W what else did the president say? Uh, well, Wolf, President Trump not only directed his ire toward Democrats, but also former White House counsel John Dean, calling him a loser for many years. As we've been talking about, Wolf, Dean has been testifying today on Capitol Hill about President Trump and how findings in Mueller's obstruction probe has parallels with President Nixon and Watergate. The last time I appeared before your committee was July 11, 1974. Tonight, During former White House counsel to President Nixon testifying before the House Judiciary Committee, saying Trump's former White House counsel, Don McGahn, should testify too. Mr. McGahn represents not Donald Trump, but the office of the president. His client is the office of the president, and I think he owes that office his testimony before this committee. John Dean, a CNN contributor whose testimony in the Watergate investigation helped topple Richard Nixon's presidency, telling Congress there are many similarities between Trump and Nixon. In many ways, the Mueller report is to President Trump what the so-called Watergate roadmap was to President Richard Nixon. Stated a little differently, Special Counsel Mueller has provided this committee with a roadmap. Ranking member Republican Doug Collins calling today's hearing a, quote, mock impeachment inquiry. But don't appreciate the fact that here we are again with priorities in this committee turned upside down. But as the drumbeat among Democrats for an impeachment inquiry intensifies, Dean's testimony is drawing the ire of the White House, calling him not credible. I've never been disbarred. I, I, was, I passed four, four state bars, never been disbarred, yeah. never went to jail for obstruction of justice and don't plan on it. And the president himself so tweeting that Dean is a, quote, sleazebag attorney and that Democrats just want a do-over, which they'll never get. Trump also on the defensive over his tariff threat with Mexico, which critics have called a manufactured crisis of his own making. If we didn't have tariffs, we wouldn't have made a deal with Mexico. We got everything we wanted, and we're going to be a great partner to Mexico now because now they respect us. And while Trump claimed that a fully signed and documented agreement would be revealed, Mexico's foreign minister contradicted Trump, saying no secret immigration deal existed between his country and the U.S. And President Trump's administration pushing back on the New York Times reporting that parts of the deal were hashed out months ago. I've seen some reporting that says that these countless hours were nothing, that they amounted to a waste of time. I, I can tell you uh, that the team here at the State Department believes full-throatedly uh, that this is an important set of agreements, important set of understandings, uh, one that we'll continue to work on because in the end, we'll be measured by the outcomes that we deliver. Tonight, the president also turning up the heat on China trade talks, saying more tariffs will be imposed if the Chinese president doesn't meet with him at the G20 summit later this month. I think he'll go, and I have a great relationship with him. He's actually an incredible guy. He's a great man. Uh, he's very, uh, very uh, strong and very smart. But he's for China, and I'm for the United States. Trump also railed against the Federal Reserve for raising interest rates, saying they're undermining his negotiations with China. We have people on the Fed that really weren't, uh, you know, they're not my people. But uh, they certainly didn't listen to me because they made a big mistake. They raised interest rates far too fast. Don't forget, the head of the Fed in China is President Xi. <laughs> He's the president of China. He also is the head of the Fed. He can do whatever he wants.